bulletproof option and their gender reveal lasagna. Uh -uh. It has a secret blue or pink cheese filling, <clears throat> comes with a side salad, and an order of breadsticks serving 12 people for $139. There are several locations in the area. In fact, if you think, oh, I'll do that, um, and you can order from their website as well. So is the blue extra mold is what I want to know. Or is it just like blue cheese? <laughs> I'm sure oh, no. it is just fine. It's just a little food coloring mm -hmm. in it. And I think if anybody's hungry oh. enough, they'll, they'll eat whatever you put in front of them. I was. Um, what will I, they think of next? I love, I love me some lasagna. So, yeah, that would be oh, one. Whatever that, uh, happens to just the, the old fashioned like, hey, guess what? We're having a boy. Right? I, I don't know. It's got to be a reveal about something. <laughs> Holy moly. Okay, um, so Doug is here to talk about the weather and this big change up that we have coming. Because if you look outside, you're thinking things are perfectly fine, um, but they're yeah. not going to be come tomorrow morning. You no, know, and really, I'm getting a little bit more concerned about tomorrow morning because that's the time where everybody's walking out the door. That's yeah. why kids are walking yeah. to schools. Right. I'm fairly concerned about that now, especially around the 7, 8 o'clock hour around the D.C. metro area, a little sooner to the west, a little later off to the east. But right when everybody's getting out to work and school, that's when we've got the worst of this storm coming on through. Let's take a look, show you what I'm talking about right now. And look at this vantage point, a really cool shot now. This is looking from uh, uh, here northwest all the way down toward the Lincoln Memorial. You see the Kennedy Center way off in the distance. You see National Harbor and the airport. Really a cool shot as we look across the Potomac. 48 degrees right now. Temperatures continue to go up 50 degrees at 7 52 by 11 so showers not beginning really until about 9 10 so most of the evening is dry enjoy it now because it's a pretty nice evening this is going to be the best evening we see in quite some time especially when you consider last night we were in the 20s 60 in richmond 63 in west virginia even morgantown at 56 degrees so you can see that warmer air trying to push in across our region and it will continue to move on in here ahead of this storm now radar picture not showing much a couple of showers towards hagerstown that's about it but the wider picture shows this area of rain very heavy rainfall and look at these line segments here these line segments are areas of very heavy rain, but also stronger winds. And that's what we've got coming in here early tomorrow morning. So here's what to expect from this. Heaviest rain towards daybreak, strong winds to 50 miles per hour, and one nasty morning rush. And again, you can put on their kids. And Amelia, this is really going to be a time frame between 4 a.m. to the west and 10 o'clock towards the east. Now, we're going to see some big-time problems in D.C. in that area right around the worst time of day, 7 to 8 a.m. Yeah, absolutely, Doug. And that's why we're in Storm Team 4 weather alert mode right now. And we will be tomorrow morning as well. Chucks, and during the morning hours, I'll be in updating the forecast at midday tomorrow. So the biggest concern that Doug and I are tracking tomorrow is going to be the winds. Gusts up to 50 miles an hour are strong enough to lead to some power outages. Also want to make sure you secure things like trash cans and patio furniture out there tonight so they don't get whipped around. Then we move to rain. We're going to pick up about an inch, maybe an inch and a half with that much rain and how wet the ground is and potentially still frozen in spots. We're going to be keeping a close eye on creeks and streams for some minor flooding and also low lying areas in urban uh, locations tomorrow could see a little bit of flooding. Temperatures, well, they're going to be falling throughout the day and check out what I mean when I say that 5 a.m. We're at a balmy 58 degrees by lunchtime. We're in the low 50s. Still not all that bad. You're getting out of work between about five, six, seven low 40s. And by eight o'clock, we're down to 37 and the winds aren't gusting as strong, but it's still breezy out there. So we do start to talk about wind chill temperatures. So here you see your road conditions tomorrow morning. They're wet with some wind restrictions out there on the Bay Bridge for sure. And I think those will last through the midday hours. But we do start to dry out in our western mountain zone tomorrow around the midday hours and by tomorrow night Doug well we've returned to dry weather across the area yeah guys and really over the next couple of days it is going to be another change here 58 tomorrow 38 on Friday a cold Friday and Saturday and then look at that on Sunday up to 47 but another little storm moves in it is small chance of p.m. snow or rain Sunday evening Monday 43 50 on Tuesday with another storm looking uh, moving our way so storm watching and then it's just playing cold mm. to end next week I'm seeing 18 on there all right mm -hmm. Doug thank you this next story has struck a chord with so many of you this week, and we want to share it again. Imagine having to choose between rent or chemo. That is the dilemma facing a Maryland federal worker and her family as they get ready for another missed paycheck due to the government shutdown. We told you about Quashon Latimer last night. Today, there has been an outpouring of...